coming up next on today's episode of Eye for an Eye. Ma'am, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Thank you! Is this your drugs? No, that's hers. I don't know. Yeah, right. I got it in your room. Today, justice for you is a pair of combat boots. You're going to boot camp to learn. Count one, up. Last time I'm going to ask you, count. In the court system, justice is not always just. That's why they bring their disputes here. Real people, real problems, real revenge. Justice is eye for an eye. Hey everybody, it's me, Kato Kalen, and thanks for joining us on another episode of Eye for an Eye. Today you'll meet an emotional mom and her troubled teen as they battle over the stolen family jewels. Mom says she tried everything to put the reins on her wayward daughter, but the daughter refuses to be broken. I'm here today because my daughter Stormy stole my grandmother's jewelry and pawned it to get her boyfriend out of jail. Yeah, I stole it. She brought it on herself. She sent my boyfriend to jail. She got my business. She shouldn't have done that. Stormy's dad walked out on us and she has just grown up to be a terror. She's a whore, that's why my dad left. I do the best I can. I'm a single mother, I've been divorced twice. She can't preach to me about how she's such a good mother and how she tries so hard because she doesn't. She's never there. And now she's doing a lot of drugs and stealing and everything and I've just, I've had it. The fact that I'm doing drugs is her fault because she is actually one of the first people that I ever saw do. I believe that Judge Akeem will be just in his decision and give me and my daughter the help that we need. As far as what Judge Akeem does with me, I really don't know what's going to happen. All I know is if he doesn't do anything about her, nothing about me is going to change no matter what he does. This is the case of the troubled teen. Let's see if Extreme Akeem can take a troubled relationship and turn it around. You're Miss Stormy Brady, you're the defendant in this case, is that correct? How old are you? What are you doing wearing a hat in this courtroom? Who dressed, who told you to wear that outfit here? I did. Take that hat off in this courtroom before we start. Take I it off, do my take hair. it off. Damn it. Okay, well, now you're, I didn't tell her to wear it. Okay, you're Miss Sarah Masters, correct? You're the plaintiff in this case? Yes, sir, I okay, am. Okay, you're Sue and you're, this is your daughter, Stormy Brady? Yes. If why, you why does she have a different last name than you? Because her father left us. Because she's a and, slut. Okay, okay. And because. Okay. So she has rebelled and not gone to school, and she blames me because her father left us. Okay, well, let's get to what you're here for. You're suing your daughter, you say. What are you suing for? 1,565. year old. How stupid is this entire case? For coming and taking jewelry, for taking your jewelry, is that what we're here for? First of all, do you have anything to cover up that middle? Do you, did you bring a coat or anything? Sweater? My advice to you, next time you go in a courtroom, don't wear an outfit like that. Okay, tell me the facts about suing for the $1,565. What are you doing with all that? All right, Ms. Masters, let's hear it. What are we here for? What are you suing her for? I am suing her because, Your Honor, for one thing, that's yours, were don't found even lie. In her bedroom. That is her. She is so. Is that Mary old. Brought that is your this You smoked with me. Bathroom, sir. Who, who left you this in this courtroom? Me. Sugar Ray, give me so that. So don't Let me act see that. like that's this came mine. From her room, you which shows the rebellion that she is in. Plus, you smoked with me from the me. same pipe. Don't be doing that. Like I don't go there. So no, I don't think. Oh, so. don't even lie. You're just as much of a pothead as I am. Listen, you. Where do you think? Where do you think I got it from in the first place? It wasn't for me. Maybe. It was too. Hey, 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 come on, come on now. Oh, look who's talking. Let's, oh, yeah, puppy. look who's talking. This is a courtroom. Tell me what you're talking about that you want the $1,565 for. Well, what? I came home, shut up. Don't I came home from work up, woman. one day, it never and works. I found this guy raping my daughter on the couch. No, it's not raping. Years it's old. And I called the cops, and I put his butt in jail. It's she not raping if it's consented. My jewelry from my great-grandmother and pawned it to get his happy out of jail. You know, that's my 
boyfriend that she told me she liked up until she caught me having sex with him, and it's not considered rape if Ms. it's Brady, consented Brady, anyway. It's rape. You're years old. So what? I consented. I told him. I'm the one. Hell, I'm the one that jumped on him. So you that need to shut up. That's statutory rape. I jumped on him. Ma'am, the apple don't fall far from the tree. Have you looked at yourself you. in the mirror? Thank you. Miss Brady, were you having sex with a 19-year-old? Yeah, my boyfriend. Okay, and have you had sex with other men or women or whatever? Yeah. And wh who else have you had sex with? Um, five guys, two girls. Five guys and two girls, and were they? <laughs> so you've had sex with five guys and two. If God meant for you to think with your private parts, girl. She'd be Why would he give you a brain? Why did he give you a brain then? Are you even using it? Yeah, actually, I'm a hell of a lot smarter than people give me credit for. And is this your drugs? No, that's hers. I don't know. Yeah, right. I don't found her in your room, girl. You know what? You're the one that's got, been to jail before for having pot, so don't even be pinning it on me. Yeah, right. In your dream. You can check her record. She has had drug charges on her before, so have, she can't be blaming this on me. Have you had drug charges before? No. Don't lie. They can check that, remember? Yes, I know. I'm in a courtroom. And, and are you married now? Are you married? No, yes. nobody wants her whore. And who are you sleeping with? About five people. How would you know that? I have one boyfriend. At least I don't run around. Well, that's funny because uh, that ain't the name of the guy that called the house last night at 2 o'clock in the morning for a booty call. Homework. Coming up next. You brought Your a cell phone into this courtroom? Obviously, we're dealing with a troubled kid here. What have you done? Done I've a reform to her school? Counselors. Or I'll be back in a minute with my judgment. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Ma'am, the apple don't fall far from the tree. Have you looked at Thank yourself you. in the mirror? Thank you. Is this your drugs? No, that's hers. I don't know. Yeah, right. I don't know. in your room, girl. You know what? You're the one that's been to jail before for having pot. Eye for an eye. Real people, real problems. All right, Miss Miss Masters, tell me what else you've got here today. What is that? What's that? You brought Your a cell Honor, phone into this courtroom. On the phone in the courtroom. Hey, hey, hey! Go grab that cell phone, Hello. Sugar Ray. Hey, baby. <laughs> baby, I'm in court right now. <laughs> As much respect for this courtroom as you got for your mama. I ain't got no respect for her. Go throw that in the garbage. And that ain't obvious yet. She don't need no, she don't deserve no respect. What, what else did you bring in this courtroom? I'm court still your mother. I don't make it, then act like it. What, what else did you bring in this courtroom? Look what I got. What the hell are you and doing? what is that? Oh, you better be glad this damn this cage is, is in my way. diary, your honor. Okay, what is in there that, That's you, invasion of that you thought was relevant to this court case? That's the that hey, no, no more cuts in this courtroom. Evidence, you I, come here dressed like that. You're using language room. like that. Of course, I went in your room. I had to find out all the men you're sleeping with. At least I stayed with one person for a no, substantial why? amount oh of time. Oh my God! Every hour. Obviously, we're dealing with a troubled kid here. What have you done? Have you tried to send I've her to reform to her school or? I oh, yeah, she's her locked me in my room. She won't even she's go to taking school. away I my phone. Room. I found she has all that stuff in her room. What have you done? With the pipe. She used to lock me in my room for like four hours at a time without even giving me a drink of water, no food, no oh, nothing. Oh, please. It's not like so you didn't that's have that's how I get punishment. There. I'm not dealing with that. I'm getting out of the house. I mean, yeah, how, right. how long has this been going on that you've let it get this far? You come into this courtroom? I mean, have you contacted the police? Have you contacted reform school? Of course I did. That's why. And nothing's what happened. What have you done? Tell me everything you have done to protect. And then she runs away. And then I don't know where she's well, at. Well, you wouldn't be. Bitch, I wouldn't have to run away. Hey, hey. If you Come wouldn't on. be out walking the streets at all hours of the night, I learned from you. I learned from you. I learned from you. you. Happy. I, to I learned from you. Home. She obviously learned this somewhere. I don't believe See? any child he is even born agrees with me. to this extent. So, Miss Brady, tell me what you're doing to help yourself. I'm in school. Nothing. Are you in school? Yeah. What grade? <laughs> when are she in school? Do you have a job? Yes, I do. Has she worked at all? 
She works in a bar, Your Honor, as a dancer. You let her? I don't no, know. I just dancer. found out about what it. Kind I don't work as a dancer. From I work her as a diary. waitress in a strip club, and she just what doesn't like that. What kind of bar? Like as a strip club? You yeah. working at a strip and club? Your age. Have you contacted them to tell them she's 15 years old? They yes, could go to jail. Yes, sir. I did. And what did they say? They fired. They didn't her. believe her. What were you doing working at the strip joint? I'm just waitressing. I don't know what she's talking about dancing. How do you she know, know she, know she was, was dancing? Talking about. Because I talked to her boss. Don't lie. Mr. Said yeah, because you were my boss. Oh. She was not a waitress, but she was a dancer. Well, How reason he told and you that? So he could get a How reason he told you that so he could get a night? Well, he just told you that so he could get a Don't lie. Hey. Listen, you may have come in here for just to get money back for a, a jewelry or something, but you stepped in the wrong courtroom with this type of attitude. And I'll be back in a minute with my judgment. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I need earplugs for that one. The shouting match. Holy cow. I'm, I'm just glad I, I'm, I, I was raised and I, I, my mom and dad did a great job. And, and uh, But anyways... Uh, you got kind of shook up over there. Now, we all saw the show on the monitors. You saw it there. You got the uh, chance now to ask the defendant and the plaintiff a question. And uh, what comment did you want to say? You're only 15 years old. If I were your mom, I would pull my belt and just give you a good <laughs> whoop. That might happen. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. And uh, come on over here. What did you want to say? Honey, all those people you're sleeping with, they don't love you. It's not love, baby. Believe me. I know. Take advice, yeah. You're, I mean, you're 15. You don't want to... You you're making some, some, you know, really big mistakes. Yeah, what did you want to say? I mean, she needs to consider the fact that until she's 18, her mother's responsible for her. But right now, she's 15. And darn it, she needs to listen. Come on over. Well, a lot of people are blaming this girl, but really, it starts at home. Mm -hmm. And you, ma'am, are the worst mother I've ever seen. And uh, what do you want to say? Well, I completely agree with this guy. I mean... You have to be a friend and not just a parent foremost. Well, I guess it's uh, quite apparent. And right now, Judge Extreme Akeem has got a decision to make. And I think we're ready for it, right? All right, let's hear it. All rise! Miss <laughs> Masters. You're no parent, you're no <laughs> mother. Look at you, look at the example you've set for her. And Miss Brady, you have no respect for yourself. You've slept with everything that walks. You're doing drugs, your language. Of course, the language your mother says is just as bad. Yeah. But you have no respect for yourself. I'm gonna teach you respect, I'm gonna teach you discipline, and I'm gonna teach you morality. And you, First of all, you're going to go to parent counseling and learn how to be a parent. Hell so yeah. How to be a parent for her. That's the first thing I'm going to order. And today, justice for you is a pair of combat boots. You're going to boot camp to learn. You've slept with everything that walks, now it's time for you to do some walking. Yeah. Learn discipline, respect, and morality. That's my decision. Coming up next, the plaintiff gets revenge. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you're honest with yourself, you're honest with other people, and there's no chance to cheat yourself. One, two, three. I put out clean. You can do it. You're watching Eye for an Eye. Miss Masters, you're no parent, you're no <laughs> mother. Look at you, look at the example you've set for her. Today, justice for you, it's a pair of combat boots. You're going to boot camp to learn. Welcome back, it's me, uh, Kato Kalen. Watching this case, it's sort of difficult to see a mother and daughter, two people that really don't like each other, yet they're related. It's gonna take a lot to repair this relationship, yet Stormy is the first one to take those steps. It's 5.30 in the morning, and Stormy is reporting, get this, to boot camp with boots. Drill instructor Howard is going to try to whip her up into shape. Can he? Well, we're going to find out. But this is what Stormy had to say about her relationship with Mom. Uh, I'm kind of scared the dude looks mean, but uh, 
I don't care. I'll try it. I mean, I don't really think I need it, but I'll do whatever. I'm not really talking to her. I'm trying not to associate with her. This is your home right here. Right there. Let's kick some Mom. ass. Kick some civilian ass oh. this morning before we progress any farther. It's got to go. That will not stand. One, two, three. One. Don't forget to breathe. Five. One, two, three. Six. One, two, three. You run it all? Do any PT or anything? Well. Well. Stormy, welcome to boot camp. Up one. Up two. Up three. Up four. Up five. Up six. Up seven. Up eight. Up two. Well, I lost the bet with myself. I thought that Stormer would be out of there in about 10 minutes. Well, she's still there, and she's trying to make it work. I'm going to see if she can make it throughout the whole boot camp. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you're honest with yourself, if you're honest with other people, and there's no chance to cheat yourself. You can't do it. Yes, you can. All you got to do is think happy thoughts, because you are the master. You can't do it. Show a little motivation here. Five. Up. Six. Up. Seven. Don't let them see you blank, Eight. girlfriend. Nine. Up. Six. Up. One. The best revenge Two. is to succeed just Three. for yourself. Four. Up. Five. Up. Six. In spite of all the Seven. others and what they think. Eight. Success is the best revenge. If you're honest with yourself, you're honest with yourself. You got one, two, three. You're honest with yourself. If you feel like you want to throw up, you feel like you want to puke or anything like that, just give us a heads up on this. If you feel you need to lay out a repetition or two in order to keep going, not a problem, all right? The thing I don't want you to do is falling out out here, all right, for anybody's reason, okay? You're doing good. You're doing good. You get told that very often you do things good? Well, that's probably one of the reasons. Why don't you ever compliment her? Do well, you ever compliment her and tell her she's doing positive things? When she doesn't. You absolutely say that's a really good thing to do. You frame most things you do to her in a positive frame of mind? Or do you come from her from a, a negative frame of mind? Mostly anger. Well, that's probably part of the underlying problem right there. You need to reframe how you think. Because you usually grow what you put in the ground. You know, in some strange way, Stormy is relating more to drill instructor Howard. I think she's seeing him in the father figure. He's playing the role of the father, and Stormy, not having a father, is trying to impress him more than she tried to impress the mother. And yet the mother, in a Freudian type of way, is more imbalanced, psychologically speaking, in what she's trying to do to her daughter. Well, I don't know. I heard this on Dr. Phil. You run very much? Not at all? Mm -hmm. I think she really sucks. I didn't think it was going to be this hard on me either, watching her. You been in any trouble with the law? When you do, you make that conscious decision to do something wrong, and you get caught at it, and you got to accept the consequences. Up three. Up three. Up five. Up six. Up seven. Up eight. Up. Oh! Oh, there you go. Oh! Exhale on the way up. Oh! Up! Oh, put out, man. Up! Oh. Up! Oh. Be a hurricane. Let's go. Up! Oh. Up! Oh. You know, it's Stormy's hard work. I think it's making more of an impression on her mother. Will it strengthen the relationship? We're going to find out in a minute. Ben! Down! Down! Well, we talked to Instructor Howard and the litigants to find out how Stormy's first day went and if it was going to get better for her after her first day. This is what they had to say. Well, she did well. She did real, actually, she did very good. She had a good attitude about the whole thing and she could have uh, been very negative about the whole thing, but I think she opened her arms up and uh, accepted the whole thing. There's a lot of people out here giving her a lot of encouragement, and uh, she did well. The main thing is, she didn't quit. Well, I'm very proud of her. 
She bent her didn't think she would. I thought she'd quit, but she didn't. Yeah. I'm glad I was here to watch her. Succeed. Yes. I think I might run track now. <laughs> Yeah, we were yeah. talking about that. Well, gotta go well, they got a long way to go. There was a lot of damage done. Let's just hope they can put it all together. Today, justice was a pair of combat boots. Until next time, I'm Kato Kalen for Eye for an Eye. Keep watching.